Hi everyone, it's WGM's MCI here. How you doing? Welcoming you back to my Let's Play of Eternal Sonata. Last time right, we went for the introduction of the game and we introduced our very first character, Polka. This time around, we're hopefully going to reach the village of Tanuto, following the path to Tanuto. So I'm actually going to just avoid some of these encounters here. Um, in this game, encounters are fixed. You can see the enemies in the game so that you can avoid them. Um, hopefully I'll do a good job of dodging. Just got a peach cookie there. Um, peach cookies I think give uh, one, or worth one point. They are. Um, don't have enough to fill out two, so I'll keep them in my inventory for now. This one's quite hard to dodge, but no problems for me. Heading around. I do like I do like this area because I love waterfalls. Waterfalls are awesome. Just heading up here and into another cutscene. So yeah, Pokemon's been having a little bit of problems back in time. Let's continue on in this other chest. I think it's a it's another peach cookie. Good. So I'm actually gonna set these in my item set. I'm gonna set two in my item set. Actually I'm gonna put them in order. I like putting them in order, so cookies first and then powders. I'm gonna try and dodge this these two encounters. And head up into Tanuto Village.
All right. This I like this. I like this little village. It's so. It's just so cool. Oh, I would. I would live here. I 100% would. Um. Now I will say this: that the, my pronunciation of it is probably going to be wrong. I'm just going to bring that up right away. I pronounce it Tanuto or Tanu. Uh, I'm not like the game also pronounces it like that, so I'm going to pronounce it like that. So now in this house, I'm going to examine this. There's a strong smell coming from this jar. I better not open it. Oh yeah, it's not. Oh, a cute flower is, huh? There's something here. Oh, there we go. There's the peach cookie. I examined the wrong thing. That's very natural of me. <laughs> um, and here's a horse. I love horses. Hanako, why are you so cute? Well, it's a horse. It's gonna be cute. And there's a cat. We can talk to the cat. Meow. Um, don't know why I did that. <laughs> Let's end this. This house. Um, actually, I don't think I can do this yet. No, I can't. There's nothing in there. But I am heading up to the flower field up here. And you can see through the sign, flower field. So let's head up to it. And the gate in this area, I, I, uh, I do love this area. So if we check this little stand, it's all dirty in here. Everyone has to use this place. So it really needs to be kept clean. We get a floor powder, and if I head all the way over here, across the flower field, I'm going to ignore the two children for now. Oh, what's this? Angel Trumpet! These are the items I spoke about in the previous episode. Um, so in this game there is no healing, there is no revival spells. Angel Trumpets or Trumpet-like items are the only things in the game that revive parties, party allies. So these are pretty much vital in your quest. Let's talk to these two little kids. This is a cool cutscene, actually. Polka. A lot of flowers blossomed this year. Yeah, and they're so pretty. I bet these make great flower powders. We'll put them into nice containers. It'll be so much fun. So yeah, the two little children's names are Salt and Rano, making the word Soprano, which again is another musical reference. Um, if I go up here actually, I'm going to examine this. Oh my, the bugs are eating the flower petals in this bag. Just a little, just a little fluff text. Uh, there is a little, little <clears throat> I'll try and examine a lot of things. Um, I won't guarantee I'll get everything, but I'll try and get a lot of the little side bits of text that Pogo says throughout the game, or any of the other characters. So we examine this. Alright, that's, oh that's right, I better fetch some water later. Um, actually can't get that yet, so. Let's go into Polka's house. I think this, this is Polka's house. Get your set. Let's go in. That's it, those look good. To say. I'm home. Welcome back, Polka. Oh, you must be exhausted. I've made some nice hot stew. in Retardanto, didn't you? Why does everyone avoid me? Because they think they'll get sick if they touch you, even though it's not true. I'm living proof that it isn't true. After all, I live with you and I'm fine. I can't make any friends. 
sure everybody's getting hungry. Welcome to Retardando. <clears throat> and we switched characters, so let's introduce said characters because, yeah, that's a, because this will happen a lot. So we have the two new characters, Allegretto, um, shortened to Reto and by Beat. And Allegretto is actually really good, a really good character. He's um, very good attacking wise, his defense is pretty good, even though it doesn't show here. Um, his magic is pretty decent, and his speed is pretty decent. Overall, a very, very good character, and probably one I'll be using for it and being for it a lot of the game. Next up is Beat. Beat is the first long range character in the game, and yeah, he's very different to how anybody else works. I'll probably show him off in battle actually because it's better showing than telling. But yeah, Beat is a really, really interesting character. His his speed, uh, I think his magic, I think his magic isn't that good. But his attack and defense are not too bad and his speed's okay-ish. I mean, he's, he's relatively decent overall actually, but not as good as Allegretto in my opinion. But if you're looking for a, a long range character, there's only two in the game, so yeah, he's one of them. So let's actually get that mini and let's explore a little bit. Because if you examine this little fighting, hey, there's something in the water. You get 10 gold. Yay, 10 gold. And examine this. Looks like no one's taking care of this, huh? There's something on the ground. And you get an art angel trumpet. And I think that's all I can do here at this current point. But if we go up here, this is the church up here. And this is a big extravagant church. I gotta say. I, I, I don't know. I, I like it, but I don't like it at the same time. I'd be very scared to go in here in real life. But let's talk to the priest actually, because he gives a little bit of backstory to what's going on in the world. Surely our daily bread is an important thing. People cannot live without eating. However, it cannot be said that people can subs subsist upon bread alone. Kindness, compassion, and affection for our fellow brethren. These are the things we can truly not live without. And talk to him again. Do you understand what it is I'm trying to tell you, Allegretto? I've known you since you were very little, and you've grown up. Well, even though you have no parents. People in town may think you're a bad seed, but I know better than anyone that you really have a kind heart. And we talked to him for a third time. Just take care not to cause trouble for others. May God be with you. And he gives you a full heal. A free full heal at that. This is very rare in this game, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna take very full use of that in this early stage of the game. So we're just heading out of here, and um, in this building here is a shop. It's very, it doesn't have markings of a shop, but it's the shop. Um, the shops aren't really marked very well in this game, so you have to be very careful. Just explore everywhere, really. And uh, he asks if we have money to go shopping. Well, well, we do. We picked up 10 gold. What can we buy? We can't buy anything, I don't think, just yet. Actually, that I can find. Um, so you can buy hunting knife. We have that. and. Uh, Aquiribus, I think that's how that's pronounced, is Beats Weapon. Um, we can't buy the meal shirt just yet because we need 50 gold for that. So let's let's go into the sewers where we need to go. 
which is down here. So yes, obligatory sewer level in an RPG has to happen, right? But I do love to, I do like the music in here. It's really cool. I like music in, in this game overall. So yes, another force tutorial, and this tutorial will be explaining the special attacks. So let's have Allegretto and B explain them. Preface of special attacks in this game, and I think that is extremely unique. So, depending on the battlefield, you use either a light special attack, which is dictated by the the light here, and if you're in shade, you use dark special attacks. I think this is really unique, and not very many RPGs do this. So, it's definitely different, and definitely there's a little bit of strategy to where you stand, a little bit of strategy of where you're going to stand, or like enemies use like things that causes you to be enveloped in light or enveloped in dark to make you automatically use those attacks. So, you have to be extremely careful, and you have to watch that. But with all that being said, I'm actually going to end this episode right here. So next time on Eternal Sonata, we're going to be exploring the Retro Dandy Sewers. And actually, I'm just going to bring up one little thing. Um, so I'm going to be grinding off screen. Um, because anytime that there's grinding or anything like that, that, that will be covered off screen. And I'll show you the differences in my levels once uh, the new episode starts. But yeah, we'll be exploring the sewers. I'll show you where all the chests are. And uh, let's see what we can find in the sewers. So for that being said, folks, of course, I will see again. Thank you very much, folks, for watching. Uh, be sure to give this video uh, a like and a comment. I really would appreciate that. I'm just starting off on YouTube, so I am getting there slowly and surely. But thank you very much, folks, for watching. And I will see you again.